I collect quotes. If I see a series of words that pop out to me, I write them down. And I was looking over them last night and two quotes, one from Kenny Lonergan, the writer, and one from Quincy Jones really popped out at me. And they're not quite connected, but they're somewhat connected. So let me, I wanna tell you what these quotes are. So Kenny Lonergan, who's wrote Manchester by the Sea, lots of plays. I used to hang out with them. I haven't seen him for a couple of years, but his quote was, I think a lot of people mistake naturalism for relaxation. But being comfortable is not the same thing as being alive and real and truthful. And what comes to mind for me is in myself, I will catch like before I'm shooting a scene, like I'll try to, if I don't catch myself, I'll try to get to some kind of neutral place. I do that less and less now but I used to spend a lot of time trying to get really relaxed before filming anything or before going on stage. And I'll see in my classes, like people will come up um, to work and the first thing that they'll do is they'll shake everything out because they're trying to get relaxed. The downside of that is that if you shake out whatever energy, and basically we only try to shake out things that we have the idea are wrong. Like if there's a certain energy in my body and I think it's wrong, I'll wanna shake it out. But what I've been experimenting over the years with Committed Impulse is the game is not to attempt to get to a relaxed state. The game is to increase your tolerance for whatever is happening. And that's why I like Kitty's quote that being comfortable is not the same thing as being alive and real and truthful. And being alive and real and truthful, that's exciting for me to attempt, for other creators to attempt, and it's much more fun to watch. Who wants to watch somebody get comfortable? And plays and movies are not about people smoking a joint and lying in a hot tub and staring at the ceiling. It's about <laughs> somebody that can't deal with something. So it's not that much fun to watch somebody get relaxed, especially if they're suppressing what's really going on with them. So I would say, instead of trying to get rid of and trying to get to whatever you think is an ideal state, instead of trying to get rid of that, I'm back. Instead of trying to get rid of that, you want to use that energy because that's what's real, that's what's truthful, and that's what's alive. And that's what people want to see. So that's, that's my take on, on the first quote. And here's the second quote from Quincy Jones. My feeling is, always leave at least 20 to 30% room for the Lord to walk through the room because when you're leaving room for the magic and records are about, I'm back. When you're leaving room for the magic and records are about capturing real magical moments at that time. I didn't give that, I didn't, I didn't give that quote justice, but what really stuck out to me is to leave 20% he says to the Lord, another way is to leave 20 to 30% open to the unknown. Because I think actors starting their career, starting auditioning, you know, want to have every moment really set and locked because it feels safe. But what's interesting is when there's an openness to letting the unknown, and the unknown can be what you're experiencing. The unknown is always when you have your attention outside yourself and you're really taking in what's there, that's unknown. And having that unknown, does those unknown elements alive and being open to them, it makes it very exciting for an audience. There has to be an unknown element in order to engage an audience. 
if you, the actor, and this applies to public speaking as well, if you, but I'll say the actor, know every moment, have every moment set and are not open to the fluctuation that might happen, it's not as fun to watch. People want to see you, your being in that moment alive, open and influenceable as you go for what you're going through for. So those are my two quotes. I feel like I somewhat connected them quite well, quite well. So uh, let me know what your, what your thoughts are, are on this. I mean, I'm talking to my iPhone right now, but let's make this a conversation. Have a beautiful day.